Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Buchwild. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to integrate a bot framework into Microsoft Teams. So in one of the previous videos, we showed how you can actually expose SAP data in different user interfaces, ranging from obviously SAP Fiori to Office to Power Apps and also to Teams. So in this video, I really want to take a closer look of how this is done, what other options are there available and to actually show you that getting started is, is um, fairly easy. So to start with, um, Azure actually provides you a huge range um, of bot functionalities that allow you to get um, started extremely quickly. You don't need to install any code. You don't need to install any um, tools to get running. You can actually really start the web app bot functionalities in Azure, um, run a first sample, test the first sample, modify the very first sample without any additional tooling. Of course, you can download the code. You can um, create very extensive um, and a very complex um, bot scenarios. But getting started is really extremely easy. So in my Azure portal, I can simply search for bot service. And then click on add to create a new service. I'll create a web bot app. Click on create. And add the required properties. Now that the bot service is created, we can quickly test it in the web chat. Obviously, this is a very simple test, but when I type something here, it basically echoes the um, input that I typed here. This is just a starting point. Um, potentially, what I can do is I can click on build and I can even open this as an on, in an online editor to modify the code. So this allows me to make simple modifications directly here in the online editor and enhance the bot framework. So getting started with um, bots in Azure is really, really very simple. Now, if we want to do something a little more, so the starting point um, for the Teams conversation bot is uh, huge collections of samples that we have available on GitHub. So if I switch over to GitHub, um, there's the bot builder sample pages. And, and one of the, the samples is sample 57, the Teams um, conversation bot, basically. And if you clone um, this repository of samples, um, then, well, you get a lot of files, basically, um, that, that help you get started with integrating a bot scenario in Teams. Basically, you uh, yeah, use npm install to um, get started. You use ngrock to make the connection from your on-premise. So when you do local testing, basically, from your on-premise configuration um, to Azure, then you need to uh, register the service in Azure, and, and that's basically it. So uh, I have already done the registration. So here I'm in Azure. I'm in the bot channel registration page. I um, configured ngrock um, here, I, I configured um, the application ID and, and stuff like that so that um, my local um, JavaScript files, Node.js files know um, who to connect to and, and how to communicate. And then um, if I open up Teams, 
well, you can see here um, the, the JavaScript file, basically. And this is a very, very basic file. I mean, I, I've not included any Lewis or um, natural language and processing um, functionalities. But what I've done here is I have a very, very simple scenario where I react to certain keywords. So hello, show me products in stock and, and stuff like that. And then um, if someone enters um, a certain phrase or something like that, then I just call um, the popular SAP ES5 system, retrieve some information of a certain product ID, for example, and then um, return the values in the in the team um, chat. The, the idea is, is not to create a fancy bot. Um, I mean, there's lots of documentation and I'll um, show you some links later on um, that will help you to get started. The idea is really to show you um, how to build a basic framework and then build on top of this. And there's also a manifest file where you can um, create some some pictures and stuff like that, how your app should look like, where you can specify some, some welcome messages and, and that's it. So with this, um, all that you need to do is um, start um, uh, the framework. Um, then I have already NVROC um, started um, over here. So now um, my bot service is um, running locally. Again, we are connecting now to the registration bot service in Azure. And if I switch to Teams and um, select the app that I have this, um, installed, so this SAP product um, lookup app, then I can just start interacting with my chatbot. So before I start, um, well, when I type it, it provides me already with some suggestions of um, the uh, uh, yeah, queries that I could do. So if I do a simple hello, then we're connecting from Azure or via Azure to my um, JavaScript service that's running here locally. And you can see hello ready 2020. Actually, if, if we switch to ngrock, you can see that, uh, okay, there, there was a, a new call here. Uh, you can also see some um, console logging that I have added in my JavaScript. You can see there was a hello statement. And now what I can just uh, could do is I can um, type in show or actually I could also um, select one show me details of now come on show me details of product uh, HT 1003 um, then we'll make the lookup to the ES5 system uh, do a simple OData query and then I get um, information back from the SAP system. So it's a very, very basic concept, but actually it's, it's super easy to get started. So again, just go to GitHub, download the sample code, maybe do some modifications in the code to play around to see um, what's, what's possible, what's working, and then build on this. Um, again, there's also great documentation how to implement really natural language um, functionalities in this. But yeah, I can just recommend uh, to, to take a look at this. So as mentioned, if you want to get started, um, here's the, the GitHub link. Um, just start with um, bot builder dash samples, and then you can navigate down um, the tree to um, 57 Teams conversation bot. Um, there's also then the functionality to add natural language understanding um, to your um, to your bot framework. Or there's even, if you just want to play around, there's a QA and a maker where you just um, send a list of um, uh, frequently asked questions um, to this Q&A maker and um, Azure creates a bot out of this. Okay, I hope this uh, gave you a short, a quick understanding of what you can do with um, the chatbot framework in Teams. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.